untrue, untrue, untrue. It is fair to say that most of the world doesn't appreciate German food. So if you do belong to the rest of the world, let me enlighten you and tell you how the German cuisine really is. So first of all, German cuisine is very regional and that means that in every region you're gonna find something different to eat. And that's due to the fact that Germany in the 19th century was divided into smaller states and those national cuisines were an element of democration and the establishment of identity. You are what you eat, said the German philosopher Ludwig Feuchterbach already back then. Also, the neighboring countries like France, Poland and Austria influence the cuisines at the borders. When we traveled in Northern Germany, we have never eaten such a great fish bread rolls and so many different fish dishes in our whole life. Eastern Germany surprised us a lot because those dishes got so creative, I was even shocked. So the traditional food consists of pickles, sausages, meat from the cans and ketchup and it really works. Then here at home in Frankfurt we love our green sauce which is also a side dish which is inspired by existing green sauces. Also what you need to know that in several regions people make traditional German food differently like for example potato salads or sauerbraten. In Northern Germany they like making their potato salad with Maya dressings and in Southern and Central Germany we enjoy our potato salads made with vinegar, oil and broth dressing. When it's about sauerbraten in Rheinland you're gonna find a sauerbraten made uh, with raisins and gingerbread. In Baden-Baden they don't add none of it and in the Franconia only gingerbread. Second of all, German food is seasonal. In restaurants or bakeries we definitely celebrating all seasons. In spring we enjoy white garlic, white asparagus, green asparagus, kohlrabi, rhubarb and strawberries. And not only to make baked dishes but also at the border. In autumn in Germany we love drinking our Federweiser or young apple wine with its Zwiebelkuchen, which is onion cake. We also enjoyed wild game, pumpkin dishes and mushrooms in many different variations. In winter we love kale, different cabbages, chestnuts, duck and goose dishes. Third of all, and here I'm gonna surprise you a lot, German food is vegetarian. <laughs> many of the traditional dishes were actually vegetarian because not everybody could afford buying meat. We've got so many varieties of cheeses and cheese spreads. Those make amazing starters. And also amazing main dishes like stewed cucumber, schmorgorgen, bread dumplings with a mushroom sauce, uh, baked potatoes with a quark or sour cream, ramspinat, so the creamed spinach served with potatoes and fried eggs, potato pancakes with an apple or garlic sauce, and lastly, Käse Spätzle. If you are interested in the traditional German vegetarian dishes, I've got a travel blog that is called Local Food Advice and I wrote the whole article about the traditional German vegetarian dishes. I'm gonna link it down below for you. Four, German cuisine is very flavorful and aromatic. And that's probably thanks to European expansions, uh, uh, for example, to Asia in the 16th century, different spices arrived to Germany. So we do use way more than just salt and pepper. The favorite spices are for sure caraway seeds, which are very popular in central and southern Germany. They are perfect to season sauerkraut, bread and bread rolls. In Germany we also love the nutmeg and that goes um, for all potato dishes. Cinnamon we use for semolina pudding, apple sauce, yeast dumplings but also savory dishes like bean soup. Mustard is also a very important spice and condiment. It is used for many dishes, meat, fish and even eggs. We spread it on the beef slice to make a brief roll, so we add it to haché, which is a German ragu, and even we use it for the dressing in herring salad, or any other dressings for that matter. And it is crucial ingredient of mustard sauces, obviously, 
and those are served either with fried fish or hard boiled egg. Another spice is horseradish, fresh one is served uh, with a broad thigh and we make also amazing horseradish sauce in Franconia and Baden-Württemberg. Another spice that I really have to mention is the curry. We have a dish called chicken with a pineapple and curry gravy, which is a perfect dish served with rice and also the beloved curry wurst. And the last spice that I'm going to mention is the paprika powder that is used to flavor schnitzel, goulash and many meat dishes. Five, <laughs> German food is surprising and complex. Many German dishes have very interesting mix of flavors, like for example the musique that is served on hand cheese. This is a raw onion sauce that is made with freshly chopped onion oil and vinegar. The sauce is so served on the top of the hand cheese or Heizer, as mentioned, and even on slices of Stadtwurst, which is a sausage that is similar to Bologna sausage. The, those dishes are served as a starter. Another interesting combination is for sure a toast Hawaii, which is the white bread, served with a cheese, pineapple slice and on the top a candied cherry. We also love serving savory dishes with a sweet toppings, like for example wild game. We love serving uh, with a lingonberry jam, but not only wild game, also some uh, cooked beef dishes are served that way. Even potato pancakes are served often with an apple sauce. From the nutritious point of view, German food can be very heavy on our stomachs, unless you're gonna run a half marathon afterwards. But nevertheless, it is very comforting. So the dishes like Käsespätzle, Schnitzel, beef rolls, chicken fricassee, uh, goulash are for us Sunday dishes. So we don't eat them every day. Nevertheless, there is food, German food, that is pretty bad, at least according to most of the Germans. And now I'm going to share with you the seven most hated dishes in this country. First of all is Sülze. This is meat in a speak. Hate. Blood sausage, also something what the Germans don't like. Lapskaus, which is the dish made of mashed potatoes, beetroot, pickles, corned beef, fried egg and herring. It cannot get any weirder, right? Another dish that the Germans say is the sauerkraut. <laughs> yes, you heard me right. It's the sauerkraut. And anise is also here on my list. Other than this, a Schneeball is not our favorite because it's very dry, if not filled with anything. And also liver and liver dumplings are not everyone's favorite. I can fairly say that here in Germany, we do have many weird dishes. If you are interested in weird, I've prepared a video about the weird German food that you can watch next. So after seeing all of this, I hope that I encouraged you to try German food on your trip to Germany or in the German restaurant. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe and healthy. Bye.